So I'm just showing you a few things I picked up from Amazon. I got this big giant tape mat. I thought it would be perfect for filming videos, just having it to protect my desk. I also grabbed this nail glue gel. I already have one of these out. It comes in a two pack. I absolutely love this. I have it on right now with my tips. I don't do full cover tips very often, but this made it so easy for me, especially as like a beginner doing that. It's just like super thick. I will be rebuying this multiple times, I'm sure. I don't own much of this brand. I've actually only discovered it like this year. I also grabbed McCart rhinestone glue. I've never tried this, but it looks really nice. I see a lot of people using it online. And I really like the fact that it's a squeezy tube. It's going to be so much easier than like a thick goopy gel to spread around because I always put too much on and then it leaves lumps when you put on top coat. I also got this nail collection from McCart. I think it's a top and a base. Base coat and the top. Haven't tried these yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. So I'm like a big weirdo and I need to like smell all the gel. <laughs> I just find some have like a super weird smell. And this one kind of smells like, like hot sauce <laughs> or matches or something. <laughs> Ah, that's so weird. Okay, so last but not least, I got this Savvyland Professional Nail Art Kit. I want to do a series where, as a professional, I try out all of these brands, like from Amazon, Sheen, AliExpress, and give you like a true review on them. And I want to compare them to professional brands. Because anytime you can save a bit of money, why not? So this kit comes with a 100, 180 grit file. That actually feels way more light than a 180. This is a 600, 3000 buffer. And then the kit I got comes with 240 long full cover coffin shaped tips. Also comes with almond full cover shaped tips, 240. The instruction card. A set of tip cutters. Nail Extend Glue Gel. I've actually heard a couple good things about this one. It also comes with a mini lamp. I'm actually going to keep this in the box and we will do a separate video on it. And I will do my nails using just the stuff from this kit. And I'm going to follow the instructions on how it says to do it. That was everything from Amazon. So next up, I have a small little haul from Nail Techniques, which is my favorite nail supply store. They carry all Fusion brand that I use as my baseline and clear jelly stamper. Okay, I have a client coming in like five minutes, so we have to speed through this part. I have the clear base that I always use. I was almost out of that one. This was their gel of the month. I normally use SL Clear, but I decided to get this just because it was on sale. This is Fusion 5, and this is 5 Undercover, which this is SL Undercover, but same color. 
This is the one here. It is my all-time favorite. A lot of my clients use this just as the color itself. So I was running low of that. I also got a mini hand sanitizer. You can never have too much of that. I got a refill sleeve for my stamper remover thing. Um, this was before I bought the lint roller one, so at least if they don't work, I have a backup. I also just got a backup of the Clear Jelly Stamper White. I go through this like water. This is probably my like 20th one. I also picked up this super cute Easter plate. I don't have a whole lot of Easter stamps, so I'm always looking for more of those. I cannot wait to use this little duck and the bunny on the bottom. He's so cute. Last but not least, I got this chrome powder in or chrome flakes powder in fairy. It's from Coco and Claire. I love working with nail flakes. It is my favorite nail art in the world. You can just do so much stuff with them. That's the color there. And they also gave me a little cuticle oil as a free gift. The scent is SD. I'm not sure what that stands for. Mm, it smells really nice. Very citrus. That is everything from Nail Techniques. Once I'm done with my client, we will film the Sheen and Timu part of this, which is massive. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start with the Sheen and Timu haul now. We will do all the more boring stuff first. I got two packs of 100 of these foil things for removing um, like full cover tips. I've been into putting full cover tips on my own nails lately, so I figured that would help. I also got two different kinds of lint-free wipes. These ones, I'm not sure, but they look very thin. And then these ones are a little bit more fluffy. I just find like lint free wipes don't hold liquid very well compared to like a linty wipe. <laughs> but if none of this works out, I'll use them for stamping. No big deal. Next, I got two packs of these buffers. I think they are so cute. That's what they look like. They're 100, 180 grit. It says washable, but I would never wash these. It's just a one-time use, and I throw it in the garbage. So two of those. I also got one of these packs of buffing blocks. These are just the small little ones. I usually buy these at Modern Beauty, but they were way cheaper here. I'm not sure off by heart which stuff is from Sheen and what is from Timu, but I will leave a like all the links below so that you can check it out. I've just been dumping it into a big basket, forgetting that I was going to film a haul. Next I got these little sponges for chrome. They're like sparkly pink. I feel like everything I got was pink. These are perfect for chrome, pigments, flakes, all kinds of stuff. Next I got one of these little tiny mandrels.
is so tiny. I haven't actually used one like this before. And it came with some 180 sanding bands to go with it. Next up, I got some, I think I have two of these bit holders. Oh, I don't have this kind where they poke in. Oh, that's a bit different. So two of those, I think they hold 20 each. Next up, I got some more of these little sanding bands. Oh, these are 240. They feel nice. I cannot get over how small they are. I've never seen one that small before. Next up, I have another mini mandrel. I always like to have two of everything just in case I break it. I tend to drop these quite a bit. It's so teeny tiny. Extra mandrels, I got this 10 pack. I've been using the same one for like <laughs> three, four years now. <laughs> but you know, I might drop it at some point, so had to get some more. Next thing I got was this 20 pack dental bibs. I got these to cover my desk while I'm working. They are in pink. I also got this pink case. Just to put my tools in when I wash them. Like the extra ones I don't use on clients, but like ones for me. Also got a 10 pack of trays in pink. I got a four pack of cuticle pushers. I've never owned any with like color here, so I'm not sure how that's gonna sit in my solution. I use preempt CS20 and it kind of destroys a lot of stuff sometimes. So there's four of those. I also grabbed Okay, there's the second one This one comes with a cuticle cutter and a cuticle pusher That's the cuticle pusher looks like They actually feel really nice quality and I love when they're thin at the top up here This feels nice too. So I got two of these. Next up, I got two of these like toenail cutter things. You get a bigger one and a small one. My cleaning solution destroys these all the time, and I think it's just because it's hard to dry like in the creases like around here and it gets rusty so I got a couple of those just to hold me over for a while next up I have some nail glue I actually forgot I ordered the first pack and then I ordered like a jumbo pack <laughs> so now I have a ton of glue for press-ons if you hear me tossing stuff, I'm just putting it in the bin beside me. I also got these like toothpicks with a cotton on the top. I thought they would be really nice for stamping, 
like for cleaning up around the sides and stuff. I'm not sure what this is. Okay. It's the tool that holds the little sponges. so tiny. I use this mostly for alcohol inks. Like when I use the ones that don't have a brush, I just put them on a paint palette and a sponge and dab them on like that. That's really cute. Okay, so this one was a fail purchase. <laughs> I assumed I was getting the swatch sticks like I normally use the stiletto kind, but these ones, I've never actually even seen any like that. This is the kind I normally use and that is this one. Not a fan and the arch is so high. Not that that really matters on a swatch stick, but I don't like those. I'm going to put that in the giveaway basket because somebody might really like them. Next up, I got this cute little tip stand. It's like a baby pink and it has like mylar paper inside. That is really pretty. And the hold is not too bad. I really don't like when they have like a sticker on the bottom here because I always lose the sticker and then I can't use it anymore. Next I got a wipe organizer, but I actually just got it for storage because I want to put my mandrels in one side and then the mini ones on the other. It has Oh, that doesn't come out. Okay. I think I ordered some more of these actually. Next up, I got this little gel brush. I love a short handle brush. The one I normally use is this one from Nail Innovations. This is my favorite brush ever, but it's starting to get frayed at the top. That one's a lot smaller. I think it'll still work. Okay, moving on to some gels. This is a peel off base coat. I got this for myself just because I want to start filming a lot of videos. Okay. <laughs> is this supposed to be like that? I'm so confused. I've never used a peel off base coat in my life, but I'm assuming that is not right. <laughs> it is like, the brush is rock hard. Okay, that's weird. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, so that base coat was a fail. <laughs> Next, I have this brand here. I'm not sure what it is. It's a rubber base coat. I actually have this on my nails right now and I really like it. I buy these for myself, not to put on clients. I only use Fusion when it comes to them. This one here is a no wipe top coat. 
nice and thin. Sorry if you hear some banging around. My kids are home. Next for gel, I got this Miss Monday gel polish. It is, I think it's called Quail Egg. It's just one of those ones with the black dots in it. I got this for Easter. One thing I didn't actually have in my collection was something like that. I also got this JR gel polish collection. They are the cutest bottles. You get nine in this set, and they are all pastels. Oh, I love that purple. We will do a swatch video on these. That's all the colors. I really like that one. It's like robin egg blue. Now let's start with tips. I kind of went a bit crazy on tips. <laughs> First, I got these French Fade Long Coffin Tips. I've never actually used a ombre tip before. It's really pretty. That's the length. Maybe that's square, not coffin. It just says rectangle on the package. I really like that. I don't really like how the sizes are completely weird. Like I feel like the large one should be on the end here. We will try those out. Next up I got this pack of long square French tips. I haven't drawn a smile line like that in years. And thankfully, none of my clients ask for it. <laughs> I don't even know if I would remember how. I also got the black. These ones look a lot shorter. Oh yeah, they're like a medium. Quality's nice. That's the length there. Nice and thin on the bottom and firm at the top, which is what I like. I don't think I've ever worn just a tip, like a French tip on my nails. It probably looked kind of strange. So there's those. Next we got soft gel tips, short square. It's a 550 piece box. I've never tried this brand before. Oh, they feel nice. Bit shorter than what I have on. Excited to try these. I love trying different tips. So my battery just died on me. I'm not quite sure where I left off. I think it might have been when I was showing you these. Next up I have these ones here. Now, it says short stiletto, but when I open it, <laughs> they are longer than what I have on, and I'm wearing a medium square. So, I don't know if they just mislabeled the box or what's happening, but that's okay. I will use them for something. These are pre-buffed on the whole top and half on the bottom.
Okay, so I have a bunch of these ones. I have been obsessed with this brand. I'm just going to take them all out of the packaging. Okay, so we will go through these. This is extra long full cover tips. I think it's square. I've never in my life worn nails this long. <laughs> but for videos, why not? The I find the quality of these amazing. I'm wearing the medium square right now. Which are these ones. I absolutely love the flat box. I think that is so cool. So this is the one I have on. This is medium square. Then we have a extra long. There's no way this is extra long. I think this is short coffin. Oh yeah, they're definitely short coffin. They're kind of rounded though at the top. I would have to square that off. I love these. And the last for full cover tips, I have short square, which I bought for my daughter because she likes short square nails. They are so teeny tiny. This is normally the length I wear, but I've been being adventurous lately and <laughs> doing my nails long. This is a medium length. I really want to do a long next and then extra long and just see how far I can go with it, which is probably no longer than this, but we will see. Okay, let's start with the art. I have a big basket here and I also have a bunch of these water slide stickers. First sheet here is all like seashells. It's really hard to see with the ring light. This one is like a little underwater life, more shells. I thought these were so cute. I don't have anything like that. And then these, I got two. They are the Halloween ones. I got it because of Jack and Sally. I don't really like The Nightmare Before Christmas, but I have a lot of clients that do. So I got that for them. This sheet here is like a summer vacation set. I don't think I have this one either, but I absolutely love this one here. And the little drinks on the side. So fun for summer. Okay, let's dive into this basket. We will start with these three 12 grid organizers. Now, some of this stuff was in packaging, but this is like my 10th time trying to film this section. <laughs> so, yeah, the packaging is gone. First up, we have these little carrots and bunnies. Each little compartment comes with like two or three. But that would be perfect for Easter. Easter's only in like two weeks. Then we got this heart one. They are like iridescent hearts. Some of them are see-through and some are more solid. Then we got this pack of rhinestones. They are like a bluey purple color. They do have the shiny backs, which I'm not a big fan of, but that's okay. We will use them for practicing or just doing little cute designs. 
next we will do stamping plates. This first one here is like a beachy theme. I love anything with like trees and palm trees, stuff like that. A Valentine's plate. Is it really hard to show? I'm just trying not to get the glare from my light. Okay, maybe this way. Another summery one. This one is like snakes and stuff. This plate here, I bought it for that citrus pattern down on the end. I love stamping plates. That is like my first original favorite nail art and I will forever love it. Okay, let's next up I have a few pack of these shard things. I have this beautiful yellow color. A blue one. A greenish one. And this one is like a pink. I really love these shard things. Every time I go online though, I always forget what colors I have and end up buying multiple of the same one, which is fine. Next we have this little mixed pack. There's some hearts in there, some little starfish. None of these charms are gonna be in order. I'm kind of just pulling right from the basket. Next we have these little teeny tiny baby red hearts. So cute for Valentine's Day. And I love that they're nice and tiny because the people that don't really like stones can normally pull these off pretty well. And I got these massive candy hearts. They're very flat, so I don't think it will sit very nice on the nail. Definitely not. Next up, we have these little iridescent cherries. I've seen someone haul these recently, and I had to have them. They do have a little curve to it, so they will fit nice on the nail. That's what they look like. That is so unique and fun. The only cherries I have are red, so it's nice to have something different. Next up, we have these huge macarons. Oh my god, they're so thick. <laughs> I'm not sure how many you get in there. I think you get 10. And then we have these beautiful little hearts. I actually had these on the client and I removed them yesterday. They were so hard to get off. I love them though. Then we have this little mix pack right here. I bought these because they have bunnies. And because I see them at home. <laughs> but I just thought that little bunny was so sweet. He has like, or she has like a little bow in her hair. There's some little hearts and bows. Such a fun little mix for spring. Next up, we have little baby bunnies with bows. Those are so cute. And we got two packs of these like pearl things. This one is like a gold. They do have that shiny finish on, so you will need to top coat these or they're going to scratch. This one's like a nudie brown color. 
also with that like iridescent opal finish. Then we have two packs of butterflies. We have a pink pack. So sweet. And a dark pack. Let's pull that out so you can see. Really nice size, nice and tiny. Then we got a pack of leaves. I just got these to go with like a lot of the roses and stuff that I have. And we got some of these high heel shoes. How fun would that be for a Barbie set? They are super sparkly too. a little bow. Okay, that's super cute. If you are a client of mine, we need to use these like ASAP. <laughs> also got this mix pack of resin charms. There's like bows in here and roses. Looks like a feather, a starfish. You guys know that I don't leave mine in packs like this. I have to separate that or my OCD would kill me. Then we got this pack of dried flowers. They are so beautiful. Every time we go look for these, they are out of stock. But last haul, I got this one and I wish I would have got like 10 more maybe not 10 but at least another one stunning okay i think that was it for charms next we'll move on to the powders this is a eight pack of chrome i actually can't believe how much you get in there normally when you buy these little tiny pods you just get like a dusting on the bottom I will swatch these later on in a vlog, see what those are like. Then I got this six pack of chrome flakes. I'm always nervous buying flakes because I don't really like the glitter kind. I like the chrome flakes that are nice and thin. The glitter ones, I just find they stick up and get on my nerves. So we have those. I absolutely love this pink one. Let's have a look at it. Gorgeous. Chrome Flakes is one of my absolute favorite nail arts. You can do so much with these. Mm, flowers everywhere. Anything you would like to see in a video, let me know and we will do that. Let's start with this big sticky stack here. First, we have a Marilyn Monroe sticker sheet. I thought this was super cute. I have so much Marilyn Monroe stuff and I've never used it. Like that. Then we have this little like gardeny one. I actually started my first garden last year and I grew a couple vegetables I was so proud of. Cannot wait to do it again this year. Next, we have this pack here. I think you get eight sheets. These ones always remind me of like a spider gel kind of look. Like that. These floral ones. I love those. Looks like they're like watercolor almost. We have 
these beautiful ones. They have like a little hint of glitter inside. How fun. Those. These ones have some pretty butterflies on the top. These do feel a little bit thicker though. I really like the ones that lay flat and thin, but that's okay. Next up, we have this butterfly pack. That sheet. I love all the different colors and types on here. That one has some floral mixed in with it. I'm not sure what I got from Sheen and what I got from Timu. I kind of just threw everything in a big basket. I will leave all the links below though, so and I will have it separated. So you will be able to see it a lot better that way. Now, this pack. I bought these because they have a friend sheet on there. And you know, I'm obsessed with friends, but I did not realize that everything was spelled wrong, which you will see. <laughs> In a second. So we have that cat sheet. How cute is this little pill bottle? And the person with his face all scratched up. Some food. Okay, this one here. <laughs> How you do? And we were on a breathe. I. <laughs> But you know what? I will still totally use the frames and the lobster and the little coffee cup. It's so cute. But I just wish it was spelled right. Central Park. No one will notice from far away. Then we got these ice cream ones. It is snowman. That is so fun. Cute. And got this like Alice inspired sheet. Some more cats. And this like rainbowy type sheet. I really love that colorful lollipop. These I know I got from Timu for sure. Okay, next up was a three pack of this like underwater life. We have some purple. Oh my god, what's that called? Jellyfish. Brain fart. Some blue jellyfish. Some seashells and some starfish. Then we've got this pack here. I actually went to order this one last night, <laughs> forgetting I had it. But I actually don't think I did because it was sold out. But this one is like a mermaid iridescent sheet. Love that. We got some more underwater life. I love anything with like jellyfish, starfish. I grew up in Newfoundland and we had a oceanfront home. So we were really close to the ocean all the time. We were constantly like jumping down the cliffs and just having a time growing up. Now I live in Alberta and it is not close to an ocean at all. Okay, next up we have some like summery florals and fruit. I always love the big sheets. This was also a two pack. We got some glittery lips and hearts. And the second sheet was candy hearts. I love anything candy hearts. I have so many candy hearts stuff. This was also a two pack. Some of them I have out of the packaging because I went to film this video like three times. But I know these were together. So this one's more like your straight point heart. 
And then these ones are kind of like curvy and sweet. I really like that. These came in a pack together. I thought they might have been five. No, I don't think so. This is like a Valentine set. Like that. I don't know what any of that says. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Eyes and lips. And we have an Easter sheet. These are always so bright and fun. Oh, I love that one. What does that say? Oh, egg hunt. They're also happy, have fun. Then we have this bright, colorful sheet. This one here. That is so cute. Aww. And we have this two pack. I don't have a whole lot of Easter stickers actually. Like this is probably more than what I have in my collection previously. Then we have this little bunny and strawberry one. And last but not least, we have two. Oh, never mind. There's three. We have this butterfly sheet. This one is like iridescent butterflies. This pack actually came like this. It didn't have any plastic wrap on it. And we have this one. I have these in a like iridescent shimmer finish and I have the whole sheet almost gone. My clients always pick them. Love that. Okay, so that's everything for the haul. Thank you guys for taking the time to hang out with me today. I'm really happy you stopped by. Let me know if there's anything you would like to see me make a video using and I will definitely do that. I'm also going to make a ASMR video of all of these charms. Actually, I think I have another load coming in the mail, but we are going to go on a no buy because this is getting ridiculous here. <laughs> um, you guys need to hold me accountable because I'm not good at that. <laughs> okay, have an amazing day. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.